What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do another Code Forces problem. This is Code Forces round 606, division 1. Of, uh, the problem is called as simple as 1 and 2. So you're given a non-empty string or that consists of some minor substrings, right? That has a lower case Latin letters. But this guy named Polycar doesn't like it if it only if it contains at least one one or at least one string two. Okay, so if it has one or two, he doesn't like it. Or if he has both, right? So one, two, or one, both one, two, okay, as a substring. So in other words, he doesn't like it if the string S has any of the uh, characters that are something that equal to one and two, okay? So for example, these strings one, he doesn't like it because it has a, a substring one, and on two, W doesn't like it because there's a two here, and uh, two, one, he doesn't like it because there's a one, here and there's a two here if you interpret this way right and he doesn't like it because he has one 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 two because it has one it has the both of ones and twos right it has one two one 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 two right it has at least one of these so he likes it if the strings are like this like oiny the reason why because it doesn't spell one like it just doesn't spell one twa twa Okay, the reason why, because it, it doesn't spell two. Like, there's no T-W-O, right? Tano, whatever. It has no one ones and twos, okay? So, in this case, if you... Uh, let's look at this example. One, two, one, right? Um, so, if you want... Basically, he wants us to select a set of indices, positions, and remove all the letters of these positions. Okay? Excuse me. So, uh... He wants in this case he wants to select three and six, right? So this indice at three, uh, they're index they're indexing at one, right? They're doing one, two, three, four, five, six. So they they want us to remove this index and this index. Okay, we'll be selected, and the result is on town. So what is the minimum number of indices or positions that Polycarp needs to select to make the string liked? And what are these positions will be? Okay, so there's these test cases, and then there's the strings as stuff like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, AI should tell me a lot of tries to get this right, but and my solution st was still kind of long, so I'm actually going to go over the editorial solution. But anyway, uh, in order to do this, let's go back to the paper because if you draw out all these inputs and output and the corresponding outputs you actually see the pattern the problem wants us to basically remove the minimum number of letters to not have the substring one and two right so in this case we saw that from the input statement there's there's one two one so the the letter they want us to remove is three and six so they want us to remove this e which would get rid of this one and this o which would get rid of the one here also but it also gets rid of two Okay, so based, based on the first input statement, I know that if I want to remove the minimum number of letters to, to not have the string 1, 2, if I just remove 1, O, then that's actually the minimum, the minimum number of letters to remove in this case, toe 1, right? Because the reason why is because that if, if I remove, let's say I remove a T to get rid of this 2 and an N to get rid of this 1. So there's a substring of 1 here and there's a substring of 2 here. If I remove a T to get rid of this 2, that counts as 1 removal, right? And then I remove an N to get rid of this 1 substring here, that counts as another removal. And then if I remove this E, that counts as 3 removals, right? So that's that's way more than removing one letter in this case. So in this case, if we see a 2 own, right, like a, a 2 merge with a 1, we should remove an O. Okay, based on the first input statement that I looked at. This would minimize the number of letters I have to remove. Then after looking downwards, uh, as you can see here, or the, this test case, there's there's nothing to remove, right? So they put, uh, put zero and then they print out an empty string for this test case. The rest of the test cases, this test case and this test case, they just remove the first letter and that's okay. Let's let's go to an interesting one, like this one. Two O. okay. Well, if I were to remove the last, letter to get rid of this two i still have a two in the end right if i get rid of this i still have a two so that that doesn't work so you can't just remove the last letter whenever you see a two if i want to get rid of a twos for any substring that has two right i can't just remove the last letter because then i still i would still get a two here i would still have two like that uh one two three four yeah i would i would still have this 
All right, two oh oh oh. So that one, that one, that wouldn't work. And if I look at this, let's say I wanted, uh, let's say I look at the next test case, this test case, two t t t t t w o, right? So they picked an o to remove, which makes sense, right? The last uh, o, um, but. Picking the O to remove doesn't work in this case, right? In the case that we just said above, because of an extra O would still have two there. So let's look at this test case. Uh, if I were to pick the T to remove, like let's say let's say I saw a two. So this test case has a two string, right? The string that has a substring two. Let's say I pick this to remove this T. Well, I, I would still have a two, a substring of two. Like it would still have T, 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 W, O, and this is still has a substring too, right? So, so in this case, the best case to remove is actually the middle, middle string, which is W. So whenever I see a two, it's actually best to remove a W because then I know that, I definitely know that there's not gonna be like a T's in front of it or O's in the, in the behind it that would actually affect it, right? Because if I see a two, if I remove a W, that would completely get rid of any of these cases of having another substring two at the left over, right? Okay, so and let's go to one. Just like just like in uh O O O N E. Let's look at this test case. They remove the test case uh the letter N, right? They remove the letter N. Well in this case that that makes sense, right? It makes sense to remove the letter N because then you won't have the substring one, right? So but Let's say I, in, whenever I see a one, I remove a, a letter O. Well, that wouldn't work, right? Because if I have another O in front of it, I would still have one later on if I remove an O in front of it. Like if I remove this O, I would still have one, right? I would still have this one, this one, which still has a substring, so that's not good. And it, in this case, one E, if, if I see a one and I see an, and, and I remove the E, like the last letter E, that doesn't work either. So, because I would still have one knee, right? I would still have one E like that. So that's not a good idea either. So whenever I see a um, one or two, basically I'm gonna remove the middle, 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 middle letter, okay? So if, if I see a one, I'm gonna remove an N and that will completely get rid of my, get rid of my, the, get rid of the substring one, okay? And if I see a two, and get rid of the W, that will completely get rid of the substring two, okay? So that's that's what we saw based on these test cases, okay? So if I see a one, I'm gonna remove an N. If I see a two, I'm gonna remove a W. And then um, if I see a T, W, O, N, E, I'm gonna remove the O, okay? And insert that into uh, whatever vector that I need to return to, okay? So, but okay, so first, I have to check, uh, but let's see the, the the actual scenarios to check first. So first I have to check if there's a T2 two, two own, right? And then remove the O to not double count it, right? To not double count the number of letters to remove. So I, I would just remove this, the O. Then I would check uh, T, um, then I would check the string substring two and then remove a W and then I would check one and remove an N. So that's basically the code, okay? That's basically the algorithm. We're gonna check two, and then remove the O, then we're gonna check TWO, and then remove the W, and then we're gonna check the string one, and remove the one, okay? And now I'm gonna go to the code, and then code this up for you guys. All right, guys, so here I have a Visual Studio up, and I just read in the test cases, number of test cases T, and I did while T minus minus to read in the each test case. And then I write in the string S, I create a string S, and I write in the string S. So they start theirs as four string T for every T that's in this array of a uh, set of uh, T W own, and then two, and then one. So they did it like this way. So they're gonna go through every, every uh, string in this set tone two and then one to check every single occurrences of these each of these strings okay so just like the order that we said in the when i showed you guys okay and then what they did they do okay so then they created a position size t 
position equals zero to so starting position to search at, and then they're going to search uh, s dot find t with the position, and they're going to keep on doing it until it's not equal to n position, which is negative one, I believe. Okay, so they're going to do this. They're going to keep doing this. Uh, what's what's my problem? Oh yeah. Oh okay. So they did position is equal to this. Position equals to find this uh, size underscore t. Okay, well, I can't do this for some reason, so I'm going to make it an int. Why can't I do this? Let's see. Uh, why can't I? Okay, uh, I'm going to put parentheses to see if. Okay, so that works. Why can't I do this? Uh, for You can't do it in this. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Fine, I'll create a pause out here then. I'll do a while loop. Okay, this is different from the editorial now, so bear with me. Why can't I do this? Why can't I do this? I actually don't know why I can't do this. Okay, now I can do it. Okay, well, that's really weird. Okay, so while I... Uh, so what is this doing? Uh, I'm going to find the occurrence of the string. So, okay, so let, let me step back a, a bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is for every string that's in T, uh, every T that's in this set, to tone, two, and one, I'm going to find the string tone, and then two, and then one. Okay, so I'm going to find the occurrences of each of these strings. Okay, so that's what I'm doing in this for loop. So in this position, I create a position uh, index to tell me the index of where, where the next occurrence is, right? So I'm going to find the string, the first string tone using s.find, and that's going to give me the first occurrence of where tone appears in the string. So that's what this does. And then after it finds that, I'm going to set my position to equal that in the next iteration. So then I could, I don't have to put this in the end, right? Next iteration, so I could do pause equals that okay right and I'm gonna keep doing this until I don't equal to negative one so n pause is what it returns if find returns negative one because that means that there's no more occurrences of this string tone tone right and then after this is done I'm gonna find two and then I'm gonna find one okay all right uh, then what do they do okay oh, okay so then what they did was they set s at position plus um, t dot size over two and they're going to set this equal to x to remove it. Okay, so they're going to remove the value of this. Okay, so what does this do? Uh, this is a hacky way to do it. So I'm going to find the position of this, whatever starting position it was. So if if I find a position of tone, twone, right? Twone. Uh, if whenever whenever I find the position of twone, right? I'm going to find that position in the string, right, that I'm searching for. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the size of tone divided by 2, so then this gets the middle one, uh, the size of the middle one, which is like, I don't know, 3. So then that gives me the offset to add to my current position, right? And then, then I could just remove the middle to equal x, okay? So this, just, this is a hacky way of doing it, okay? So this basically just saying is that I'm going to remove every single uh, middle value, okay, of each of these strings that occur inside the large string. Okay, that's what this is doing. So, right, uh, and then what, okay, what else do they do? Okay, then they're gonna do a pushback. So now we actually have to add it to our set. So I'm gonna do a quickly create a vector int r, okay. Then I'm gonna do r.pushback and I'm going to push back this position. So this is going to tell me the actual this is the actual position of where it is in the actual string. Okay, the middle position. So this is the middle position of where it's at. Okay. So I'm going to push back the middle position and then what does it do? Yeah, then that's it. Okay. Then at the end I have to print out the size of how many that I'm removing, and then I have to basically print every integer that's 
in my vector. Okay. Um, yeah, then I actually have to print out whatever integer plus one because they want to index by one. So yeah. And this ideally should work. Hope it does. Let's copy. Go to this one and then submit the code. Okay, well, it stopped at running a test one, so that means something's an issue here. Uh, what is my problem? What's my problem? Ideally, this should work. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, no. Wait, it didn't stop. Okay, it got eight seed. Okay, it just took a while to load, but yeah. Yeah, so that's how you do this problem. Uh, I just quickly explained it to you guys here. Uh, I'm trying to cut the video length of each of these vids to be shorter because I don't feel like explaining 30 minutes of you guys, and I feel like 30 minutes of explanation is way too long. But yeah, that's how you do this problem. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know if, I, if you guys want me to do the next problem of uh, 629. Let me do that, and yeah. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace.